Hi, I'm Dr. Preston Smith, board certified vascular and interventional radiologist. Today we're going to talk about what to expect after your prostate artery embolization. Immediately afterwards, most guys don't feel anything. You'll just recover in your bed and then we'll make sure you're feeling good walking around, no nausea, no pain, and then you'll go home. The evening of your prostate artery embolization, a lot of guys may notice that they are uh, going to the bathroom a little more often than normal and they're not urinating as much despite feeling like they need to go. Uh, and this is bladder spasms or something that people have dubbed post-PAE syndrome. You can also feel some uh, burning during urination, maybe a small amount of blood tinged urine that kind of colors it pink um, or a little pressure in your pelvic area and that's all normal. Um, the symptoms are transient and they will pass probably in three or four days and none of them will none of them will be too bothersome no one really needs any narcotics for this procedure even though we are blocking off the blood flow to an organ and that's because the prostate gland has a remarkable uh, network of collateral blood flow to the gland from all of its surrounding organs in the pelvis so the rectum the bladder uh, the pelvic floor muscles, they all contribute a little bit to this network of arteries surrounding the pro prostate gland. So when we block off the blood flow, which is what embolized means, we don't actually take out 100% of the blood flow to the gland because that's what would actually cause pain. So after about three days, you'll begin to feel better again or just like your old self. And sometime between seven and 14 days, you should feel improvement of your symptoms that are caused by the enlarged prostate gland and that should gradually continue out to six to eight weeks, weeks or even three months. Um, so some of that is because your prostate gland is shrinking and then some of the symptom improvement will be because your bladder is readjusting to having an easier time getting, getting out all of the urine that it has when you need to go to the bathroom. And that's the critical uh, step. Getting most of the urine out every time you need to go to the bathroom will cause you to need to go less, wake up at night less, and have less urgency of having to urinate and being able to hold it for longer because you just have more bladder space uh, to, uh, to give. So that's in a nutshell what to expect after your prostate embolization. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you feel like we could help you out.